hello welcome back again to NX tutorial so in this tutorial I would like to show you about uh, NX motion simulation uh, right now I have the swing arm assembly it have several components in here swing axle including swing arm hub swing arm and the carrier so right now I want to show you in the motion simulation uh, about the the joint in here we have in here in the geometry a uh, universal joint uh, the other name is spider joint you see this yoke in here with spline and also we have yoke in here and in the middle is the spider so you can use this solid geometry as a spider joint or you can use universal joint in here okay let's get started right click new simulation click ok the motion environment now you can see there's a line there it's just only show the origin orientation and then we create link select this object okay using automatic mesh properties click apply so one link is created and then you create this link also apply okay so right now we have five different link okay we have five different link in here the next step we create the joint uh, we set now for this is because the input are uh, driving driving force is from here so I'm going to using the full join select link specify origin I'm looking for the center okay specify the factor I'm going to looking for the direction perpendicular to this surface okay I will not click this because I want have I want is have a rotational relative to the environment to the surrounding so I just click OK so as you can see here the symbol like this it means it rotate to the surrounding now the next step I create therefore join between this link and this link the specify origin to specify the location so I will click between between two points okay so this between the center and in the center okay click OK specify the factor I using this direction factor x axis so you can see okay let me check again now I think it's a wrong direction so I should uh, redefine the direction maybe I can just use this one so it have the same direction like this oh, I'm sorry I think the direction is already correct let me check first Now it should be in this direction because it's rotating with this. So please be careful uh, with the direction it because a uh, very uh, determine the result. Right now it's the rotation of axis in here, so it's a correct one. In here, the rotation is in here. Okay. The next step, click joints between the spider and also the base one in here specify the origin I'm gonna use the two points method okay so between points this end of points and this end of points click OK the factor gonna be perpendicular in this direction let me check uh-huh okay 
next step is to create also therefore the join for this this link to the surrounding to the environment so I will not check this I'm just give a specify origin the origin it can be in here it's no problem and the direction from here to here the direction right there as you can see here it's relative to the surrounding I click again they fully join from this this link to this link the origin in here is okay the face by factor also in here okay now for this one uh, it has a sliding movement so for the sliding movement uh, when while the shape is cylinder you can use a cylindrical you can click select link uh, you can select also the base link you can specify the origin right in the center of this specify the factor is perpendicular to this geometry and click OK so right now we have the cylindrical join to the surrounding cylindrical join uh, I mean uh, we have a refolded join I'm sorry refolded join refolded join refolded join is also refolded join to the surrounding this is also refolded join and we, I have slightly join now for this action I will go to solution the step 500 the seconds okay it's a normal one kinematic and dynamics click OK now in here as you can see the solution we have input a gravity okay the gravity direction go down so for example if you not lock this one and it rotate easily meanwhile also there's no uh, 3d interference between two object you can see the result is going be like this <coughs> okay but if I put the uh, driver in here it will rotate and also by its own weight it will drop down 60 click OK solve it animation you can see it falls down but it's still uh, rotating okay now in here if I add the other input force ah this one is joint number four if I using harmonic uh, the amplitude about 45 degrees the frequency 180 so it means every second it's rotating 180 the amplitude about 45 the displacement so it displaced 45 degree every a half second so in here the frequency 180 degree every seconds amplitude 45 degree let's see okay click solve now the animation now you can see the result gonna be like this so this is the real application because uh, in here it accommodate the uh, displacement while the vehicle experiencing some kind of uh, fluctuation in the road in the road surface meanwhile in here keep the stable input rotation okay now you see uh, this spider work as universal join between this yoke and this yoke now I can using an alternative method uh, in here we have 
I'm um, sorry in here we have universal so it can be used to replace this uh, this joint this spider joint okay the result gonna be the same gonna be like this and be like like I showed before okay it accommodate the translation and also the rotation okay right now I will not use this link so I will delete the link and I will hide it as you can see now the joint between those link also are deleted okay so right now I don't have those joint now I'm going to using what is called universal joint first select the link um, specify the origin the origin location should be in the center of this yoke your codes okay between two points select the outer surface of the cylinder itself here is in the center click OK specify the factor I'm going to use this surface so it normal factor here and the base base link in here specify the factor should be in this way I can use the points between this and this now okay click OK now you can see there are some uh, trouble in here it should be imitating the yoke shape so it means there's a trouble on the second selection of the factor itself okay so I'm going to use two points between the cylinder and the cylinder so two points between maybe I should rearrange again okay this and this now you can see the symbol is same like the yoke the symbol is same like the yoke also in here and the axis rotation also showing the same shape like the 3d object so I think the the joint in here is correct now I going to solve it again and then click animation let's check the result now you can see the result is same okay so there are two options like I already mentioned before you can use the spider geometry or you can use universal joint now let's play a little bit with this model I want to edit something this one the driver what about 360 it's getting faster I think so uh, let's see uh, you can see 360 so it means uh, in one second it twice moving okay so that's it for an explosion about revolute joint and also slider a cylindrical uh, cylindrical joint uh, thank you for watching and please watch my next uh, my other video thank you